Hi guys, welcome back. As you can see, the bike's still in bits, which means we still haven't solved the problem. Welcome back to this. Okay then, so today we're going to be dropping my mobile phone on the floor. So today we're going to be fitting a brand new needle valve for our float. Okay, so let's get this float off. Just one posi drive screw. Holding the what do you call that axle pin thing. If you lift that out, remove the pin because you don't want to drop it. And on there is the needle valve, which is hopefully the offending object. Hopefully we can get the uh, seat out, the cup seat, whatever you want to call it. That also has a posi drive screw I think I might need the pliers to pull this out and there it is this look pretty clean it has got a rubber o-ring around it so I'm waiting for a new one of those and a new one of those. Okay, so this is another day. Our part has finally arrived. A little needle valve. So let's get on with it. Just put, place these back on overnight for a uh, you know, stop bits dropping into them or whatever. I'm pretty high on percentage thinking that uh, this is the problem. But uh, there is one slight niggling problem in my mind. Just there. There's the uh, mixture adjusting screws. Well, you know, how, you know what sort of state the carburetors were in when I first got the bike. Everything was absolutely corroded up and I have actually never been able to take these out because they're corroded in there and then with the problems off camera actually I did try to uh, get them all out and I got that one out then I got that one out then I got that one out then when I came to number four jam solid so I stuck the screwdriver in as hard as I could twisted and the slot that goes the slot that's for the screwdriver to go into sheared off both sides so I don't know if, if it is this and not that I'm in deep poo if I can show you inside should sort of look like that with the uh, slot for the screwdriver but that one the slot is just non-existent so please make my assumption be right just be the float needle valve and I will be an happy man Anyway, enough said, let's get it in. I am now taking it out of the packet. Oh, and now we've got a very, very small packet. I will now use some scissors to open the packet. Uh, these scissors don't work, so I'll get some more. 
That's not a knife. That's a knife. This I've got to get the filter off the old one, I think. Brand spanking new. Put that over there. Where's the old one gone? What have you done with the old one, boy? Just had it in my hand. My glasses are steaming up. <laughs> oh my god. Did anybody notice where I put the old one? Because I need to take the filter off it. Ha ha! And how that comes off. Shall we try a little sharp screwdriver in the finger? We try this one. There we are. There's our little filter. We should just plonk on the bottom of that one. Yes, there we go. Don't lose the little needle though. Put it back on the float. No, nope. put that back on the float. Put this cup in there first. Put a bit of petrol on it. And our little screw. little screw back in yeah that's the little positive drive screw back in put the needle back on the float drop the needle in push the hinge and push the hinge bar back through hinge bar yes so that's what I call it uh, put the positive drive screw back in Now the height looks wrong. So I think we've got to recheck the height. I think this one was 11 somewhat on it. I say 11.26. So I get this one to 11.26. Just need to go down a touch. That's down too far now. Overdone it with the pending. It's a bit fiddly but you have to be patient. Patience is a virtue. down again that'll do for me it's just touching but it uh, doesn't have to be absolutely spot on to the specification but actually I don't know what the specification is on these because, but uh, you know every other bike I've had in the manual it just says what the float height should be but not on the ammo hole oh no you have to stick a pipe in the fucking side and I don't fucking know anyway that's that all set I think 
So let's put the cups back on. And placing the carburetor bowl back onto the carburetor. Putting one screw in, one corner. Putting another screw in the other corner. And a third screw into the other corner. And then the fourth screw into the other corner. Now I'm getting the screwdriver and I'm going to screw one of the screws. Screw, 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 but not too tight. Then go to the furthest screw away, put your screwdriver into it, then start screwing. Screw, 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 screw. Just so it pinches. And then go to the next furthest screw away and start screwing. Screw, 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 screw. And then finally the last one. Screw, 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 screw. And then go back to the first one and just pinch it up. Pinch then go to the furthest one away again and pinch it up. Pinch and go to the next furthest one away and pinch it up. Pinch but don't drop your screwdriver because if you drop your screwdriver at this point you have to pick it up. And then finally the last one. Pinch and that's how you do your carburetor bolt. What a load of bullshit. So right, I'm just uh, taking the pee out of some people on YouTube. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. You click on these people on YouTube, you've got hundreds and thousands of subscribers. You know, I'll have a look at this, I'll have a look at this. And all you see is Nag, 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 nag. And you think, why is there many people watching this guy and never fucking shots up? You know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Maybe I don't like listening to people going on and repeating themselves. But uh, hundreds of thousands of other people do. Anyway, my little rant over. Let's put the last bowl on. So this carburetor's had a new gasket and a new needle valve and seat. I just hope it's not this air fuel mixture screw. If it's out to do with that, I am shot. We just whack these screws down and just double check they're pinched up. You drop the screwdriver because you're trying to hold it so lightly so you don't over tighten them. That's my excuse. And there we go. Now hopefully we can stick them back on the bike and uh, everything's okay. And the bike will run perfect won't you? Some of you might have heard me mention this before but I've got a name for the bike called it Ben as in Benjamin Linus anybody remembers Lost? Benjamin Linus the young boy turned into a man his father hated him because he killed his mother so he grew up thinking that everybody was bad just like this bike has been left and abandoned and it thinks human beings are bad so it doesn't comply with what they want just like Benjamin Linus 
all nasty and horrible. Try and help it and it won't take it. But uh, eventually Ben Linus did actually come to love people. And that's what's going to happen with this XJ. It's going to start trusting people again because they want to help it. Yes, so as you can see, still running exactly the same load of heap of. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put it in the other shed, get the CBR out there into here, and start on that. Well, I'll probably work on this every now and then, see what's going off. Hopefully, I'll be riding it before the spring. I've got till the spring to sort it out. So yeah, Wednesday's videos, I'm thinking of doing some guitar stuff. Uh, it's not bike related and my channel is a bike related channel but uh, I don't know let me know what you think give me your feedback on my guitar stuff whether it's worth opening another channel or just sticking it in on this on Wednesdays and having bikes on Sundays here's a little clip of what I'm talking about So let me know what you think, it's only a little clip but you know, I think you've got the idea, just uh, be grateful if you give me your feedback. This is going in the metal shed, CBR is coming in this shed, so I'll probably see you in the very near future. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed my pain and suffering, and I'll see you again soon. I see you in another life, brother.